Gurkha Widowmaker in Gordo. Hey, everybody, name Keen, this is Scarblog. So, I managed to get this as part of a bundle, so I don't really know a whole lot about the line. It just kind of showed up, along with a bunch of others. But uh, hopefully, this is not going to be an absolute nicotine bomb. And hopefully, the wind will actually cooperate with me instead of blowing like crazy. Well, anyway. One of the things I noticed by this nice, huge as hell double cap, and I don't know how well that shows up, but very be nice big ring gauge, so it kind of fills the entire screen, so it's actually pretty easy to get this focused. <laughs> but uh, yeah, typically when you find something named Widowmaker, you're kind of you're kind of expecting a few things as far as the rest of the construction goes. No, like seriously huge veins or anything weird. My focus is like going all over the place. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and get this cut and lit. And the phone is free to focus to his heart's content on the fucking grass. Because clearly that's what everybody watches this show about, right? Everybody's gotta see that wonderful, wonderful field grass, right? Right? Right. If you see a little bit of a bite taken out of the foot there, that's pretty much rough handling on my part, so don't ascribe that to the cigar. Now, it's just me remembering I needed to make a video today. Oh, crap! Crap and go! Nice little bit of my standard score shub. because the first thing I got was a mouthful of tobacco dust. <laughs> okay. This place, though. Pretty good. You know, a uh, light, sweet, clean tobacco. Ooh. Got a graham cracker you note in the uh, early retro hail. So far, kind of mellow. A little mild. Good flavor. Nice, sweet. Interesting. Well, decent start so far. Let's see how this uh, ends up going up. Well, seems to be a good solid inch in. So far, has a really graham crackery retro ale, which is kind of interesting. Overall, the flavors are. Uh, It's almost molassesy, but just kind of subdued. It's definitely interesting. I'm trying not to trip over my shit in here and break my ass. Okay, <laughs> a lot of stuff in this field. Okay, so anyway, uh, I guess it's probably because of the fact that this is a gordo, and you kind of have to double puff on these to actually get the real flavor profile. But uh, yeah, this is good. There's a couple of different things going on in here that I can't really put my finger on. A little bit of sweetness, kind of a molasses-y kind of note to it. So you got the kind of molasses-y, bittery, sweet. It's just uh, kind of a touch of mineraliness. Mineraliness? Mineral. Mineral-ish? I don't know if I ever figure out what the hell I'm trying to say, I'll actually end up spitting it out. Anyway. <laughs> so far, it's got this kind of molasses graham cracker thing going on. Which is very interesting, and definitely not what I was expecting from something called Widowmaker. Which means that when I get done with this, I'm probably going to end up uh, bent over on the lawn somewhere. Anyway, uh, we'll, we'll see how that turns out when it uh, gets to that point. So far, nothing really seems to be standing out other than that kind of molasses graham cracker thing. So I'm going to keep going on this to the halfway point. I'm going to yank the band because it's actually really loose. I'm going to just go ahead and yank that so I uh, don't end up having the uh, cigar slip out of the band on me. That is actually uh, occasionally an issue, but uh, anyway, yeah, I'm going to go ahead and get back to you at the halfway point and uh, maybe not ramble like an idiot. Well, Ash just decided to fall off, so I figure this is a good reminder of the halfway point as any. Uh, so far, what I was initially uh, thinking was just a straight-up molasses graham cracker. Kind of started developing a really heavy kind of dark coffee espresso note. So, it's also kind of weird, there's also this kind of, this is going to sound off-putting, but it's kind of weird, like, garage vibe to it. Yeah, kind of like a workshop's kind of aroma, smell kind of thing. 
something that smells vaguely chemically but might not really in a bad way basically it kind of reminds me of like having a coffee creole well like in a workshop building a rifle or something like that so that's interesting for sure Retro Hale stays pretty much the same. There's also a little bit of an earthiness developing at the halfway point here. So uh, definitely uh, definitely interesting. Seems to be getting a little bit of transition as well. So I'm going to go ahead and keep smoking this down and see if anything wakes up, changes, or uh, just decide what it does. This is kind of interesting. <laughs> this is definitely uh, not a sleeper. All right, see you at the end. Or, uh, no, I'll see you right back here. Well, I'd say it looks just about ready to burn my fingers. Anyway, the has been kind of interesting up to this point. Started off having a very graham cracker molasses -y note, then started getting a little coffee. Past the halfway point, started getting a little bit of a cinnamon -y note. All while well, having a uh, somewhat workshop -y vibe to it. So, like I said, it kind of reminds me of like a coffee creole, but like in a workshop building a gun or something. <laughs> I don't know, it's kind of a weird analogy to make, but, you know, that's just kind of what I was getting off of it. Boy, that sun is going down behind that cloud real quick. Okay. I better wrap this up, otherwise I'm going to be in the dark. <laughs> anyway, so far, definitely an interesting line. If you can get these uh, for a reasonable price, by all means, check them out. But, uh, otherwise, I don't know what the actual price point on these, because, like I said, I got this as a onesie. So, uh, I don't know, these could be expensive. So, just bear that in mind. You know, hey, if uh, money's not a big issue for you, definitely give them a shot. Beyond that, hey, 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 that's, uh, trying to, not to trip over myself here. Beyond that, not much else to say. Good cigar, good cigar to think on. You might want to try these maybe a slightly smaller ring gauge, because this is a Gordo, and Gordos tend to be a little muted, just because there's a lot of filler. But, uh, yeah, definitely check them out. And that's pretty much it for this. Well, anyway, if you like this review or any other review, like, subscribe, leave me a comment, let me know if you had a different experience, or if you want to see anything particularly reviewed. Also, check out my Twitch stream, uh, Sundays to Friday. Yeah, Sundays to Friday, midnight to 2 a.m., but the night I'll slot, of course, but uh, they're usually up for about two weeks afterwards, so if you get a chance to maybe not get the live show, it's still available for at least a little while. <sighs> anyway, just a quick side note here. Uh, <laughs> I may end up uh, switching out some content here because uh, I'm kind of running out of uh, overall things to review and catalog. Not to mention, it's getting kind of expensive, and uh, I'm uh, not actually getting paid to do these, so, uh, yeah. If you end up seeing a couple of weird videos from me, that's why. Anywho, I gotta end this before I end up getting run over by a dog walker. So, uh, that's pretty much all I got. I'll see you next time.